What's going on and welcome back to another gear comparison and in this video we're going to be comparing the Ferro Concepts Bison Belt to the GBRS Assaulter Belt System. Now the Ferro Concepts is going to cost you about 115 bucks. The GBRS is going to cost you roughly around $255. The big difference in between that price difference is going to be the Ferro Concept is only going to come as a two belt system where you have an inner belt and then your outer belt. And then the GBRS is going to come with an inner belt, a concealed carry belt, and then this outer belt as well. So you do have a little bit more of adaptability with the GBRS belt because it is going to allow you to scale up and down where you can go from a covert or concealed kind of setup and configuration to a more overt setup and then an overt setup back down to more of a covert or um, concealed carry type of setup and configuration. So you really have the ability to adapt and shift on that scale when it comes to the mission, operational environment, and position. So that is one really nice thing that I do like about the GBRS, uh, GBRS setup is you do have a little bit more adaptability uh, versus a ferro where it's just more of an overt setup. So uh, with that, when it comes to the overall construction, I mean, these belts are very similar um, in a lot of ways, but there are some differences. So for the bison belt, you're going to have tubular nylon as pretty much your core, or I guess you could say the main component of the belt, where the ferro concept, uh, the main piece is going to be the uh, nylon belt that's kind of set behind everything. Uh, both of these belts have the tegrease material, so... A little bit different in construction. The ferro concept has more of, like you can see, the circle cuts throughout the entire belt system where the GBRS is going to be more square cut. The molly, when it comes to these systems, are a little bit different where the, the GBRS is going to use that to grease to help kind of set up that molly structure where the ferro concept just has this folded over nylon. So a little bit easier to run things through the uh, folded nylon on the ferro concepts, a little bit more difficult when it comes to the GBRS. But one thing you can do is kind of push the material out or the uh, actual belt kind of base out of the way and pull that to grease open. So that way you can pass that molly through where this it's just, you just pull that little bit of folded nylon over and you can pass all your molly through. So a little bit easier system to set up when it comes to um, the ferrule, a little bit more difficult with the GBRS. Both are very secure when it comes to molly pouches. And then if you want to add things like the tech locks from Blade, Blade Tech, I believe, as well as uh, mid-ride loops from Safari Land or the new North Star kind of holster mounting system, uh, both will accept them. Su super secure when it comes to kind of how much space they take up with the belt. So no issues there for those kind of clips and clamps and loops that you can add to the belt systems themselves. So um, when it comes to the buckles, a little bit different system. Um, the GBRS is going to have, or both are going to have the Cobra buckles, but the GBRS is going to have the larger of the belt buckles, and then the Ferro is going to have the little bit smaller one. Uh, both come with the D-ring, so you can add things like lanyards for uh, helicopter and vehicle use as well as kind of a drag lanyard for pulling a casualty out of an open area into behind cover. So uh, you have the ability to incorporate those. I would always add just a little bit of black athletic tape around this just to reduce the amount of noise with some of those uh, lanyards and how they are configured. So uh, both come with Velcro to secure that D-ring. And then on the opposite side, you can see you have all of your adjustments um, for the Cobra buckle so you can adjust to your pant size and waist. On the interior, it's a little bit different. Uh, this is one thing that I don't like about the GBRS in comparison to the Ferro. The GBRS has the loop Velcro on the interior or the soft fuzzy side where the Ferro concept has the hook side of Velcro. The reason for this is when it comes to inner belts, inner belts that use the hook Velcro tend to grab at your clothing. They'll pull the thread out of your shirt, your pants, your blouse. Um, it'll collect all of that thread and everything in the hook because of how much it's rubbing up against everything. You're moving around all the time, so it gives that Velcro the opportunity to grab onto that material and fabric and lint and string and thread and just get it all mashed up inside of the uh, hook velcro for the inner belt so after a while it builds up to the point to where that inner belt really won't effectively hold the outer belt making it really difficult to be able to run around and maneuver with your gear um, on the range in the house wherever the case may be 
uh, wherever your operational environment is, it can cause some issues. So I prefer the hook loop to be on the exterior belt or outer belt, uh, just because it reduces how much that belt is rubbing up against material. Uh, typically, from what I've seen, you really don't have that much of a buildup like you do the inner belt that runs that hook Velcro. So my recommendation, if they ever ever get around to it, is swap the Velcro around just because it helps reduce tearing up your clothes, tearing up your gear. You reduce the amount of times that you have to clean that Velcro inner belt out and or replace it. So um, that's just one thing that I've noticed over the years uh, with people that were running inner belts with that Velcro. So um, it's the only thing that I really don't prefer or like about the GBRS. Other than that, I mean, I would say that these belts both kind of replicate each other. They parallel each other in a lot of ways. Ferro Concepts could easily come out with a concealed carry belt that could be incorporated with um, with their Ferro Bison belt and, uh, and make them equally parallel to each other, both having an inner belt, a concealed carry belt, and an outer belt, and all be at the same price tag. So... Um, but when it really comes down to it, my personal preference goes to Faro just because that's how, or because of kind of the ease of setup and use and the hook Velcro being on the outer belt. But I still think that the GBRS belt is a phenomenal system. Uh, the preference for Velcro is kind of just irrelevant because it's a personal preference. I think that this belt overall is a phenomenal system. It's very methodically well thought out. The Faro concept is very methodically thought out as well. Both companies did a phenomenal job when it came to the overall construction and setup and configuration. So I would say that you really don't have a winner or a loser. They both parallel each other in overall performance. Uh, so with that, I really don't have anything else. I think both these belts are phenomenal. So if you have any questions, please ask. I'll be running these belts over the next couple of months to see how they hold up to the abuse and use and all of that. So. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We'll answer any questions that you have. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.